Good Tuesday everyone. I'm glad you're here. I'm Lisa and this channel is Living Life with Lisa and we're a vlog about living life to the fullest with chronic illness and I personally have been diagnosed with MTHFR and uh, about a month ago, I think four weeks ago today actually, I was diagnosed with early onset dementia and this is basically we're going to talk about today's gonna be just a little bit of going through my life I'm on my way to rehab for sciatica I'm having trouble with my leg um, the I think it has to do with my neck but I don't know anyway uh, point is there's a point um, I just, uh, I don't know, I think I need time to be, to grieve and to be angry that this is happening. Um, you know, I try to always be positive, I'm going to try to show you the real story. And I'm, I'm angry. Um, You know, and part of it's my problem. I mean, my fault. I'm looking on YouTube at things and um, videos about it. And, you know, and everybody, they've got all these videos on there about the viewpoint from the caregiver. There's only one channel I've ever seen that was from the viewpoint of the, well, no, I don't know any of them from the, the point of view of the person that suffers from it. Um, they're all from the caregivers and I understand as the disease progresses the person that has it can't do the channel. Somebody else has to do it. But I'm at here at the beginning and you know people are saying things on these videos like um, I thought it would be a slow progression but it was fast well maybe it was maybe it wasn't maybe it was more of a they hit it better and you didn't realize until they were way down the trail um, I don't know there's no guidance no support groups yet um, hopefully we'll I'll find out something this week as to what place I've been decided but this is crazy I need if for no other reason to talk to somebody that's had it for a while that can tell me what it's like as far as the progression I know I'm still in the mild stages but I also know that I have changed since well, in the last couple months, I know that I've changed. Uh, I know that I've gotten worse the last couple of months. I yesterday was a good day. Today, not so good so far. Um, and I feel like if I stay in my little area today, I'll be okay. I don't have to take anybody anywhere tonight. I might, if I get, get some sleep, and I should be able to get some sleep, um, be able to take my youngest up to get his clothes. Um, get that over with. That will put me up in the city. I could probably get out of there before dark. If we went right after school, I could do that. I could do that. Um, get back before dark get that over with because I noticed that when I pick going to go pick up my oldest son from band practice or a contest late they're doing construction in the I live between two towns and I live in the country and my address is one town that's a long way away and where I actually live I 
and we're really close to that town. So I'm, I'm gonna call the town that I live closest to, not my address, the one I live closest to as my hometown. So my hometown's doing construction work and they've got the cones up and everything because they're putting in sidewalks and whatnot, curbs and things like that. And when I go after dark, I don't rem I don't know where I'm at. I've caught myself going over the what used to be the bridge. It's not a bridge anymore. They took it out. But anyway, what used to be the bridge because um, it curves real sharp. I'm thinking I don't know where I'm at. I'm not recognizing it. I'm forgetting. I'm doing. I try to remember how just to go through the cones. And it's always when it's after dark. I don't have any problems in the daylight. But at the same time, that was when the medicine was still at, at its fullest. Um, last night, I had to go pick him up for band practice, and don't believe I had a problem last night. Doesn't seem like it. But I'm getting worried that. That's, um, how do I say it? That's one area that I don't notice it. I don't notice any difference as far as the day progresses um, unless I'm driving. I notice it when I'm driving. I haven't noticed anything if I'm at home or doing stuff. I don't notice any changes as the sun goes down for sundowning. Uh, at least I don't think so. The I refuse to sit in the dark, but I've kind of been that way for a few years just because I pay the electric bill. There's no reason to sit in the dark and watch TV. Um, but um, I don't know how much of that is really that attitude or if I have been saying that because it makes me uncomfortable because it made me uncomfortable to be in the dark lately or for a while not realizing that that was a symptom I'm also worried that um, I don't have a caregiver. I don't have someone that will fall naturally into that spot. Uh, my oldest child's only 13 years old, so it's not like he can automatically fall into that spot. Um, I'm not married. Uh, I just really don't have anyone that Well, that's not true. I got people close to me, but I don't have anybody physically close to me that um, can kind of take over to see how I'm doing, to see changes that maybe I'm not seeing, and to report those changes. Um, I feel like I don't have a safety net, and I need a safety net. So, that's kind of where I'm at today, thinking... Welcome to my journey. I I know that I'm doing a lot of humming and a lot of pausing today. I apologize. I'm just having trouble thinking as far as uh, how I want to say things. It's not flowing today. So, uh, with that, I'm going to finish up getting to rehab and you guys have a great day. Now I just finished rehab and uh, I stopped at a restaurant to get something to eat because I was finally hungry the first time in months that I've been hungry. So I ate a big breakfast 
and I'm gonna go to lunch with a friend so <clears throat> it should be a good eating day because I've not been eating because I haven't been hungry and when you're not hungry you don't want to um, even when I get the dinner for the boys I'm not interested I don't I'm sorry I'm having problems today sciences and stuff um, I don't eat because I'm not hungry. I don't want anything. And so I give them theirs and I just get a drink or something. But anyway, so I did eat a good breakfast. I had eggs and hash browns and toast and bacon. And it was very good. And then I'm going to go to lunch. Don't know if I'm going to eat lunch or not. Uh, but it will be nice to talk to somebody. I'm not doing well. I am so foggy and I wonder, I just don't think this medicine is working for me. I think that the side effects of the medicine is worse than the disease. I'm starting to think yesterday was a good day, but that's one out of how many. This is just getting crazy. And I need to go, if I knew where it was at, I've got information of care places. And I want to start interviewing and get an idea of what is available out there and the cost and that kind of stuff. And right now, I don't know that I can find my way out of paper bag. I was trying to eat breakfast at this restaurant. I was having trouble with my silverware. I was having trouble with putting the jelly on the toast. I mean, stuff, normal stuff. And it was just like my hands didn't want to work right like they're supposed to. My eyes didn't see right. It, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I was in control of somebody else's body trying to eat this meal and it wasn't me it was somebody else and I'm the puppet master trying to work this body that that belonged to me in order to eat and I don't I can't explain it you know it was just it's like I look at toast I know it's toast uh, but it's it doesn't look like, how do I say, it doesn't look right, it, it, um, it's really confusing, and it's very odd, because how hard is it to sit down and just eat toast, and it became an issue to eat toast, <clears throat> you know, it, it didn't look right. Trying to figure out how to spread it, you know, and opening the packet. And, you know, you would have thought that I was two years old. And it was the first time I'd ever been in a restaurant. First time I'd ever buttered my own bread. I know that I look normal to people. I hide it well. I still talk. I've been noticing like when I went the other day to the pharmacy went to the pharmacy I didn't know I was having trouble checking out I couldn't remember the steps to um, like give her the thing and then you uh, take the debit card and put it in the doohickey <clears throat> And after it accepts it, then you have to, I always do it as a credit card. So I had to ask her how to do it as a credit card, which is, has nothing to do with the disease. It has to do with the fact that um, these stupid machines keep changing. But, uh, and they're all different. So she told me what to do, I pressed it. And then I didn't know what else to do. I thought I was done. And then I had to 
sign it and it was just like it became the, the simple process of paying for something became an enormous thing to do and I don't know how to explain it to people that don't that aren't suffering and I know this is why I'm doing this is so I can explain it to you so I'm gonna do my best but it is like all those little steps if you miss a step it messes up the whole thing and there's all of a sudden it's like there's too many steps to check out checking out and it's hard I mean I'm really struggling and I wasn't struggling so much before the medication so I don't know I can't believe that I've gone downhill as fast in four weeks I think it I think it's a side effect of the medication it's got to be because how could it be so bad and before you know um, it has I wasn't on a slippery slope going you know on the fast road and the medicine was working better when it was a lower dosage than the full dosage and I just I don't I just wonder I don't know because if it's not the medicine I'm getting bad I'm getting to the point where I probably should be getting some help and handing the keys over to somebody else or that medicine needs to be adjusted because this is not working <clears throat> I think I'm still driving right um, my problem with driving is that I forget how to get places. I forget um, exactly where I'm at or where I'm going sometimes. That's mostly at night, not during the day. Um, I'm getting scared. I talked about the safety net earlier and I really need a safety net because it's not okay. Sorry. Um, frustration and these tears are not anger these tears are fear I don't want to be somebody that people are relieved when I pass away because I'm such a burden and hard to take care of and be a relief or feel free like they've been set free um after I'm gone. I want people to remember the good times. And I don't want to go down this road. I don't want to um, I don't want to get bad. Uh, but I really can tell. I really can tell that something's not right. And like I said, I I have a hard time accepting that uh, I've gone this far downhill in four weeks 
or even a couple because I think if I go back a few videos I wasn't having issues I don't know but um I'm wondering about the medicine is it possible that it's too much I don't know you know and I, I they asked me about the medicine yesterday I told them that I uh, thought my attention span was better which it is um, I can actually watch TV shows now which I couldn't do before couldn't keep my attention long enough um, <clears throat> but I also told them that you know I wasn't sure because you know for about three days after I up a dose it makes me dizzy and problems and I was having a good day yesterday so I didn't I thought that maybe that was taken care of um today is is not okay and I I don't I don't know I think maybe I should call up there and tell them I'm concerned and see what they say um, cause I can't, I can't live like this. We can't do this. This is not going to work. So, <clears throat> anyway, uh, y'all have a good day and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.